really excited today. We're going to be setting up a new house in Hedgehog's Hollow. So if you've ever wanted to know how to set up a new Hedgehog house, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Mike and welcome to Hedgehog's Hollow. This is the channel for anyone passionate about hedgehogs who wants to attract them into their garden and then once you've got them, wants to take care of them. Or just people who really enjoy seeing the antics of hedgehogs. And if that's you, why don't you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to make sure you get notified of every new video that we upload. So in a previous video, I showed you how you can set about making your own hedgehog house. Now I've not made this house, I've made the other two, and if you want to set about making your own house, then click the video that's on the screen at the moment, and that'll teach you all the things you need to know about making a new hedgehog house. In this case, I've bought a house, and I've, as I've previously said, you can very well go to pet shops and DIY merchants to get a hedgehog house from scratch and buy it off the shelf. But if I were you, I'd really encourage you to seek out and support your local hedgehog rescue because guaranteed they'll be able to sell you a really top-notch hedgehog house. So you'll not only be getting a house but you'll be supporting your local rescue as well and in these times that's really important. Local rescues have really been suffering of late not only because their volunteers haven't been able to work for them so they've been short-staffed but also because fundraising events and open days have completely had to be cancelled. So all opportunities for raising funds have been completely wiped out. So if you can support a local rescue and buy a house, it's a win-win situation. So I've bought my house from my local hedgehog rescue, which is Brockworth Hedgehog Rescue. And I'd encourage you to go and have a look at their website at their Facebook page and see the fantastic work that Vicky and her team are doing. At the moment she doesn't really have much of a team around her because of the current virus situation and it's mostly her on her own supporting what for the most part is an absolutely full up rescue. But she's doing fantastic work as are all the hedgehog rescues at the minute so if you can support them definitely head out and support them by buying a hedgehog house or looking them up online and seeing the ways that you can support them. But for now, let's set about sorting out this hedgehog house, ready for new tenants moving in soon. Before we set it up, let's just have a look at this design. As we've seen before, it's a fairly standard design. We've got the doorway leading into a tunnel and that's to make sure that nothing other than the hedgehogs can gain access to the main living area. So in this case, what we're actually going to use is hay. And I choose the hay just because it's a little bit more shredded than straw. And so that means that the hedgehogs can burrow into the hay a little bit more easily. I will later set up straw within the, within the garden just so that they've got some additional bedding material. As we've seen before, it doesn't have to be full up. And if you look at the video about cleaning the hedgehog house, you will be able to see exactly how full the hedgehogs can fill these houses just on their own. So what I've done is I've put a, uh, just a layer of about five to 10 centimeters of hay in the bottom of the house. And that's all that the hedgehogs need. They can investigate, see that there's some warmth in there and they'll set about filling the house themselves with material that they found around the garden. If at the moment the garden is a little bit sparse, maybe set about leaving some additional straw or hay out for them and they'll start collecting that. And that's what I'll do when I place the, the house now into the garden. But that's all we need. So we've got the house, we've got the straw or the hay in the bottom, just in the living area, and we're now gonna place it in the garden. So you can see that even though the house has a lovely sloping roof, I've still chosen to cover it over with plastic. And I just feel that that's been successful with the other two houses. And so I'm gonna cover it over with plastic and just keep it dry. And also it keeps the hedgehogs a little bit more comfortable and out of the wind. Even though the houses have got legs and are elevated off the ground, you want to ensure that the house is on a nice level piece of piece of ground and just make sure that it's propped up and leveled itself. You don't want the hedgehogs having to roll in and out of bed, quite literally. 
And then what I've done is surrounded the outside just a little bit with some additional hay and uh, straw that we had left over. And that will do two things. It fills up the gap between the ground and the house itself and just keeps a little bit of a space, but it also keeps the house dry and prevents seepage from below. And it also gives the hedgehogs a little bit of more material that they might want to build a house with and, build and collect bedding with later. If you've set up a house in your garden or you've built one from scratch, I'd love to know. So leave a comment in the comment section just below. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. And if you are passionate about hedgehogs and this content was useful for you, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification and you'll get informed every time a new video is uploaded. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm gonna head off now before the British summer starts raining once more. So for myself, Mike, and Hedgehogs Hollow, take care, bye-bye.